Hello gardening friends, today I am super super excited to bring you our next video in our series of square foot gardening. We're going to talk a little bit about what kind of tomato we need for our square foot garden. We're going to plant the tomato and then I'm going to show you something really incredible which is a volunteer squash plant in the garden. So if the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day, let's get down to the garden and get started. Here we go. Tomatoes actually are the most popular crop for people to grow. Like my mama always used to say, there's only two things that money can't buy, and that's true love and homegrown tomatoes. There are a lot of different varieties of tomatoes, but there are two different types. One is indeterminate, and one is determinate. So let's talk a little bit about determinate and indeterminate tomatoes. For our square foot bed, we're going to choose a determinate tomato variety. And right on the pack, it'll say if it's determinate or indeterminate or sometimes a determinate one will say it's for bush or container gardening and that's what we want because square foot gardening is somewhat like container gardening. So we want a determinate so it's going to grow to a determined size, it's going to produce its fruit and then it's pretty much going to die. But the good thing is you can get a couple different plantings out of the same year out of a determinate variety. And where I live, it gets really, really hot and tomatoes can die because of the heat or they won't set fruit after 90 degrees as well. So determinants can be a very good idea for me especially. An indeterminate tomato has no determined growth pattern. It's going to continue growing. It's going to vine. It would take over your whole square foot patch if you let it. So it's going to vine. It's going to grow and take over everything. And these are the kind that you see people staking up really high sometimes they'll go 15 20 feet high i've seen we don't want that for our square foot garden because we just want a little little tomato that's going to give us some fruit and then be done now you can plant seeds directly in the garden if you start early enough in the year and determinate varieties they say 60 to 70 days usually but that is from the transplant when you actually transplant like we're going to do today transplant the plant into your square foot so if you plant the seeds just know that it's going to take a little bit more time but it can be fun to do it that way sometimes plants that sprout from seeds like in your compost in the garden they can be your most healthy plants it's funny how it works that way so let's go down to the garden I'm going to show you some determinate and indeterminate plants that I did grow from seed that are growing right now and we'll see if we can tell the difference. This is a Bella Rosa. It is a determinate tomato. So let's go ahead and get over to a indeterminate tomato. All right, so here is a Mountain Rouge tomato. So it's starting to grow and get tomatoes on it as well. This is indeterminate. Now this is determinate. Determinate, indeterminate. So you see the difference? Yeah, I don't either. You can't see the difference between indeterminate and determinate tomato. You just have to rely on the way they're labeled at the store. Here is the tomato that I picked out for my square foot garden. I picked this up at the tractor supply company. As you can see, it's called Bush Goliath. Hybrid tomato determinate. So let's read about it. It has disease resistance. The F VFN are numbers for what disease resistant it has. It likes full sun, six plus hours. It needs to be planted. Two thirds of the plant should be buried because tomatoes will actually grow roots all along the stem as deep as you plant it. If you can see the little, there's little like hairs that come out and those are actually the start of roots. Tomatoes are one of the plants that do this. Um, not all plants will do this but you can plant this deep in the ground and it'll get roots and it'll make the plant stronger. So see how these are also there's a dead leaf here or a dying leaf because I got this plant a few weeks ago and haven't had a chance to do the video. So we're going to go ahead and just pull that off. We'll pull these lower leaves off Okay, we'll go add another 12 inch section onto our square foot bed and get this tomato planted. Alright, so that is perfect. Go ahead and fill this with Mel's mix and we'll be ready to plant that tomato. So it says to plant it two thirds of the way down and that means that we're going to plant it up to here. So about two thirds of the plant itself we're going to bury in the ground. So all the roots and everything are going to go straight down. 
And remember I said some crops you will want a higher, a higher bed in square foot gardening. So what you can do if you're not building it on the dirt or you don't have good dirt underneath is you can simply pile up another 12 inch section to make a deeper bed for your tomato. All right, so what we're gonna do, and I know this seems a little irresponsible, but we're gonna break off these leaves and throw them away. It's a hard thing to do, but you're gonna see in the long run that it's gonna grow out roots all along here and the plant is gonna grow much faster and be much happier when it has more roots in the ground. Plus, it's easier to keep it watered because the lower soil is gonna stay wetter than the top soil will. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it the whole way down and bury it in ground up to there. All right, usually you can just shake the pot a little bit, especially on an old plant like this. It's gonna have a lot of roots on there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit root bound. See how those roots? That's not actually too, too bad. Sometimes if it's really, really wrapped around and just a mass of roots, I'll go ahead and loosen those up so that they don't um, choke each other because they're so thick. All right, so we're gonna bury it. So I'm gonna have to dig down quite a bit to get it down to the level that I want it. That's why I didn't put any Mel's Mix in here yet. While I'm doing this, some considerations for planting are that you want to have this planted on the north side because this is a plant that's gonna get big and it's gonna shade your other plants. So go ahead and make sure that it's on the north side of your bed so it's not gonna shade your other plants because the sun is gonna come around. It's rising over there and it's setting over there. My beds are roughly east to west. So that way it's gonna have sun on this plant and on the rest of the square foot beds most of the day. Put it way down in there. Perfect. I like to firm the soil pretty, pretty firm right around where the roots were. And now it's a good idea to give it a lot of water so that the roots can meet with the soil and we don't have any air pockets there. So let me run and get some water. Hey, another good idea is to put some fertilizer like fish emulsion is a great fertilizer for transplanting things and something with a vitamin B that's really good for when you're transplanting plants. So that was a lot of water. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill the bed the rest of the way with our Mel's Mix. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe and click the bell so you get notified and you don't miss anything. You're going to want to see this plant as it grows. All right, that is looking awesome. Got my nice brown thumb too. Now I'm going to show you one of my plants this year that is an awesome, awesome squash that is a volunteer as well, just like we were talking about. It's produced two nice squash for me already, and I don't think the vine borers are even in the garden yet, so it's scooting in ahead of the destructive insects that I have here. All right, let's go and I'll show you that. You're gonna be amazed. Okay, here is a super, super awesome squash that is a volunteer. I call it a volunteer because I definitely didn't plant it and I'm not quite sure how it got here. There might have been a squash seed in my compost or something. But look how big these leaves are. It's a massive plant. I've already picked two squash off this. It's a zucchini like squash. And I don't see, oh yeah there is one. See this one right here? There's a squash that's starting to produce. There's another little baby squash over here. It's starting to produce. It's starting to get big. And I have problems with vine borers in my garden. But this thing, since it volunteered, it was super, super early in the season. 
and I think it's here before the vine borers are going to be able to kill my plants. So that's awesome, awesome. Okay, I'll put a link up here to my Square Foot Gardening Series playlist. So if you missed any of the videos, you can see them. Over here, I'll put a link to a video that YouTube says that you will like. I'll go ahead and let you listen to the birds while you decide what video you're going to watch next. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. And we'll see you again real soon.